what's up guys welcome to the first vlog of 2024 just got ready here with the doggies if you guys saw my last video my thrift video you would have seen that my dog ziggy um i touched on it really quickly he is 13 and a half and he was doing really bad there and we thought we were gonna have to say goodbye to him luckily he's doing a little bit better right now but yeah that was a really emotional um, first week of January. Luckily, he's feeling better at the moment. I'm not really sure what we're gonna be doing in this vlog. We might be going skiing a little bit later this week, but I figured I'd just take you around, show you guys kind of some of the new stuff that I got, and yeah, just normal vlog things, so. I'm about to go head out to Target um, to get a few things, so I'll take you along there. But first, I need to get dressed. It's kind of overcast and cold today. It needs to be a cozy outfit. All right, here's what I put on for my fit. I put on this um, thrifted hat, Broadway boxing. Had it a really long time and I haven't worn it in a long time. And then I have these fun little chunky beads that I thrifted along with my other two necklaces that I wear all the time. Um, but I just added this fun, funky <laughs> bead necklace. I have this like hunter green little cropped sweater on right here with my new Zara jeans. These are the ones I just showed you guys in my last thrift haul um, that have the kind of like green wash. I've been really into that like dirty grunge green wash kind of vibe. And then I threw on my newly thrifted diesel tennis, tennis shoes that I got in my last video. I'm sure I'll probably just throw this in the car. I don't know if I'll wear it. It's not like that cold out. It's just kind of like overcast, but if I need a little coat, we're gonna head off to town. I think Everett's gonna go skate for a little while and I'm going to go to Target and grab just some little randoms that I need. I just got to Target and parked. I totally forgot that I have been meaning to talk to you guys about this. If you wanted to follow more of my outfit photos and things, well, one, I'm posting more on TikTok about my outfits, like I'm making little TikTok videos. Like a lot of you guys wanna see how I style the clothes that I thrift and I just find that more difficult to do on YouTube because of my like camera and I don't know, I just find it more difficult. I don't have a good spot in the house to show you guys outfit pics. So I've been doing it on TikTok, but a lot of you guys have realized that my Instagram is no longer public. Like I had to make it private a while ago, maybe like a year ago or so. And so I was gonna tell you guys that if you still want to follow me on Instagram, that add me. I don't add anybody that I don't know on Instagram, but if you message me once you add me and then send me a message and say that you're from my YouTube, then I'll know that's where you're coming from and I'll add you. It's just because I had a weird situation. I've mentioned it a few times, but I had a really interesting um, like person in my life breakup situation and they've done some super weird things since we haven't been friends anymore and they've like had people like that were their friends that I didn't know I've never met these people like literally don't know these people but they're like really good friends with my ex-friend add me to like kind of see what I'm doing and obviously they've been talking about me because that person wouldn't have even known who I was if it hadn't have been this person just some weird weird behavior I feel like for me once I like I personally like move on with my life and this person it's bizarre it's bizarre the things that have happened that have been said that have gotten back to me so I'm just a lot more private with my social media now because I don't want to be feeling like I'm stalked all the time so if you just add me on Instagram and then send me a message being like hey I'm from YouTube then I'll know that that's where you found me and I'll add you on my Instagram I'm sure they still watch my YouTube videos so it might this might not even prevent that from happening again but um Uh, I don't even know how else to address it. It's fucking... If you've, if you've dealt with someone like that before, I'm sure that you can understand. Anyways, okay. Let's go inside. <laughs> Enough about that.
got in all these new e.l.f. camo blushes. They're only $7. I couldn't pick because they're also pretty like very nude and neutral colors. I like these a lot, but I noticed I like more pinky blushes. So I got one of the mauve one, one of this coral one, and then this pretty like deeper berry color. I love them all, honestly. I think they're all really pretty. And then they also have the lip oils. I have this one, the brown one. It's really nice. And I'm really interested in this like pinky one. But I'm gonna wait since I got three blushes. I really like the smell of this one. Well, actually, I like the, the sugar scrub of it. But I smelled the lotion. And I actually don't like it that much. So I'm not gonna get it. This one's really similar to the Sol de Janeiro products, like the um, original scent. It smells really good, I like it. That and the Tropic Glow scrub. I just got done at Target. All of my stuff's in the back, but I'm gonna show you. I did end up getting like those elf blushes and a few other like just random things. Everett's skating right now. He's, I just parked at the skate park and with our friend. And then I just took my own content. Like I've been trying to do, like I said, I've been trying to do outfit photos and videos more for you guys. Cause I think that you guys like to see how I style my, my thrift finds. So I just took a bunch of pictures and I figured I just, I've done a whole video of this long time ago um, of how I take my own content, but this is my favorite little tripod. I've had so many tripods and like things, but this is the best one. So it looks like this little like stick like this. So it compacts very easily. And then you just push this little button at the end and it does its little tripod. And then right here at the top, it like extends out and it gets pretty tall. And then it holds your phone like this. The only, my only gripe about this one is that when it holds my phone this way it's slightly like not level you know what I mean it's like slightly slanted so sometimes I have to go back in and like fix the slant for TikTok I take videos of myself just like posing and then I'll edit it in the TikTok app and then for my photos I use this really great um app called lens buddy it's right there that one lens buddy and it just takes a photo of me like every two seconds or whatever. And so I take a bunch, like I just took 83 photos in like a minute and a half and it just is like a self timer. So it just like click, 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 click. And so I take a bunch and it doesn't save it in your camera roll, which I like because I have 5 million photos that I don't like in my camera roll. I'm bad about deleting them. So you just go through here and you actually just like click the ones that you like and then you save the ones that you like to your camera roll instead of having like 5 billion photos, if that makes sense. I'm just gonna wait for Everett. He's skating around. I can see him up there. He's filming. He loves to make like edits for skate, like extreme sports edits for like skating and um, you know, board sports, wakeboarding and stuff. That's what I'm gonna do while I'm waiting for him to skate. And I also brought my book. For a second there, I was on like a reading marathon. And it's like funny, cause I feel like sometimes if I get a book that, I don't know, this is, so far it's been okay, but I haven't been like obsessed with this book and I've heard it's really good, but so far it's just kind of like not sucking me in. And I feel like I'm at least a third of the way through the book. How far in a book do you guys read until you're like, you give up? Cause a lot of times I feel like I have to at least be like halfway through before I'm like, okay, I'm just like not getting sucked in, but I need to get back to reading this. So maybe I'll read this for a little while um, until he's done skating too. And then when we get home, I will show you what I got at Goodwill. I mean, um, not Goodwill. <laughs> when we get home, I'll show you what I got at Target. I'll probably try the blushes on tomorrow for you guys to see if we like them. Oh, people are killing it at the skate park. They're getting all rowdy up there. I can hear them screaming. You! <laughs> Good morning. I just woke up and fed the dogs, drank my coffee. I've been trying to do different like overnight curls. I have several different um, methods. They're both from Kitsch, which I heard is the best brand for those. And I have the one that like is a, it's like a 
stick. <laughs> And that one makes my hair really like tight curls, which sometimes I feel like is just a little bit too much when trying to blend in with my extensions. And then last night I did the like flexi rods. I feel like I just like haven't gotten the perfect method down yet, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna do my nails. I ripped off half of my gel last night. I do my own little nails at home. Um, but yeah, I like ripped off half the gel. I don't know why I can never get it off the end. And so I'm gonna do that this morning. Good morning, Beanie. Did you have your breakfast? I've been making the dog like homemade dog food to mix in with their kibbles and they love it. This one was like right chicken and rice and vegetables. And then I put it with their kibbles and the dogs have been loving it. Ever since Ziggy got really sick, I've just been wanting to like, I don't know, make them food that they're excited about eating. I was just doing my nails on the floor because I like to watch YouTube and uh, I have like a little drill and stuff. So I just do it on the floor, but I got some new colors from Beatles off of Amazon. I'll show you guys in a little bit, figure out which color I want to do. I'm feeling I've been doing really neutral nails lately, so now I want to do something like fun and colorful. Kind of like a little like martini olive green and i did some little evil eyes i also forgot to share with you guys some of the things we've been watching i watched salt burn last night i did like it i thought that it was very like artsy and cinematic and kind of like fun i loved the like outfits and costumes and i loved the settings and it was very interesting, I'd say. It wasn't like a love for me, but it was worth watching and I did like it. Did you like Saltburn Everett? It was pretty good. It was definitely one of those like weird movies. Yeah, it was like it was weird. Gave us kind of like euphoria vibes. I did like it. I thought that it was very like artsy and cinematic and kind of like fun. I loved the like outfits and costumes and I loved the settings and it was very interesting, I'd say. It wasn't like a love for me, but it was worth watching and I did like it. Did you like Saltburn Everett? It was pretty good. It was definitely one of those like weird movies. Yeah, it was like it was... weird. Gave us kind of like euphoria vibes. And personally love Jason Elordi. He's, he's a beautiful angel of a man. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous, mwah, chef's kiss, mwah. He's 6'5", so. He's 6'5"? I Googled it. Oh wow. He's 6'5". I can't compete with that. And I like his eyebrow ring. I can't compete with either one of those. I was also looking up his style. Like I said, I think I saw a TikTok about his style and he wears a lot of like man purses in real life. And he has great style. I just recently saw that he's dating um, Olivia Jade, which I thought was interesting. I didn't realize that he was dating her for the last few years, but I did like Saltburn. Was it a love? No, but was it worth it? Yes. And then, we, uh, night before we watched Society in the Snow, which I knew nothing about that story. I'd never heard about it before. In the 70s, the Uruguayan rugby, rugby team. That was involved in a plane crash over the Andes. Plane crash in the Andes. But that was such a crazy story. And I'm sure that like most of the stuff that happened was pretty factual. I'm sure they elaborated on it, but yeah, that, story was mind-blowing and very intense to watch like the things that happened the things that they had to do to like persevere and survive mind-blowing but i did think it was a good movie it is in um spanish so you have to read i would recommend it for adults i feel like we've been watching a lot of really intense stuff <laughs> Shit out into the yard 
Call me a bomb and slap me real hard. I guess it was meant to be. Romance and misery, so much for memories. And now I'm heading to the penitentiary. See me on TV, the next cop series. I am a danger. Guess I should have did something about my anger, but I'll never learn. Real things I don't concern. I pour a kerosene on everything I love and watch it, but I know it's my fault. I wasn't happy it was over She threw a fit, I crashed a piece of shit And now I'm going back again Back to the pen to see my friends And when we all pile out County man To ask me where I've been I've been at a bar on the inside Waiting for my ride on the outside She stole my heart in the trailer park so I crashed the keys to her fucking car. I crashed that piece of shit and then stepped away. Hello! Okay. It's the next day. I am doing my makeup, but I thought we would try the new e.l.f. blushes on camera. I unboxed them already, but I got these three colors just because they were a little bit like brighter than some of the other ones. Like the other ones were really neutral. We'll see if I. I don't know. They're only seven bucks, so if I really like them, I could go get the other ones too. But I think I'll try like these two. Sometimes I like to put these on the back of my hand because I feel like it's a little bit like risk-free when you transfer it from your hand to your face if you have that issue, if you feel like it's like too much. But I'm just going to go in and put them right on the face. Oh no, my camera's dying. I hope it doesn't die. Okay. I'm going to do a few of this one. Definitely want to work fast with these. I feel like they definitely would dry if you're not working fast. For sure. That's pretty though. Yeah, I really like that. I don't know if I need more blush. I'll just add like one little drop of this pink one. Oh yeah, they're definitely pigmented, you guys. Woo! Oh, I overdid it. Okay, I'm gonna have to fix it with concealer. Definitely pigmented. Maybe do on the back of the hand. <laughs> okay, I've done the rest of my makeup and I really like the blush. I think it's really pretty. With all of my makeup on, I feel like it's definitely like toned down a bit. I did just take my beauty blender that had like a little bit of concealer and just kind of like pat over it, which toned it down a little bit. But I think it's pretty. Now I'm interested in the other ones. <gasps> Every me noodles with parmesan and butter. Then I'm gonna go over to my friend's house in a little bit. We're gonna watch a football game. But yeah, so far, I'm into these little blushes. Especially for $7. <laughs> okay. You guys, we're doing something very special today. We haven't wanted to talk about it because it's been, it's been in the works, but We've been back and forth. You want to tell them? Hmm. You tell them. You tell them. You tell them. Okay, so we've been talking about getting another dog lately um, for like, I don't know, six months maybe now? Yeah, kind of. Well, the beginning of Cleo, how long ago was that? Like four months ago, five months ago. Yeah, maybe five months-ish. Um, there was another little doggy that we were thinking about getting and it was a French Bulldog um, from actually like a family member that wasn't sure if they needed they could keep the dog or rehome the puppy and it was so cute I love French Bulldogs um, and it turns out Everett's family member did end up keeping it and was didn't need to rehome it like they were thinking about it but it ended up working out for them which was really exciting um, for them because of course we wanted them to be able to keep their dog if they were able to but then we were like if you have to give it up like we'll definitely but then since we had been thinking about that then we have been looking at other puppies also i think a reason that we've been wanting to get another puppy is because obviously everything that's been going on with ziggy we we like think it's just really sad if tegan was the only dog and so we kind of wanted to get three dogs so that when Ziggy does end up passing away, which hopefully isn't soon, but just so that Tegan kind of already knows the other dog and there's not like, she's not like alone or like lonely. So big thing, we love uh, Tegan's breed. It's uh, very much a whoopsie breed. It's a Boston <laughs> Terrier cross with the pug. So it's 
Uh, we're not really much for like designer breeds or like anything like that. We don't go to breeders for, no. for dogs, but uh, Tegan's breed is very special. So you don't see these come across your feed very often or like they're just, you know, when a, somebody owns a Boston and somebody owns a pug, they just happen. <laughs> and um, I was just going through Craigslist and I saw some bug puppies and it's very hard for me not to love bug puppies because Tegan is one of the most amazing little dogs in the world. And um, kind of watched the ad and one of them got sold off. There was two, one that looked like Tegan and this other one. And then this other one, the ad came back up and it looks like Tegan, but it has Ziggy's coloring. So it almost is perfect because it looks like our two dogs got together and had a little baby so we're about yeah to it's meet. like part tegan because it looks like tegan it's a bug but then it's like ziggy's coat it's so cute we're gonna meet her soon her name is princess fiona at the moment rochelle does not like that one i don't so we're probably <laughs> going to change it we're thinking mochi but we haven't met her yet so we are going to see very soon yeah we're waiting i think she's almost here so yeah i think we might be getting a puppy She's four months old, right? Four months? That's what they yeah, said. Yeah, she's four months old, so we're so excited. And she looks like she's really cute and really sweet. And the girl, the lady says that she's like, can be kind of shy and cuddly. And yeah, we're so excited. So you'll probably be seeing her in a second. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Hi. Cute. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. What's up, Beans? See you again. It's right here. She looks, go down? she looks so unsure. You're They're scared. smelling her. Want hold her? Yeah. Uncle Brian. New buggy. New bug, dude. Oh. He's so cute. She's already attached to you. I love Mochi. Oh, bug love. This is bug on bug action. <laughs> oh, you wagging? She you just wagging? wants a sniff. That's your big <laughs> sister. Baby. We need like a puppy pen when we're gone. Yeah. Like one of the force fields. Yeah. Like